Hey, welcome back to Make It Monday. This is Erin Lincoln. Today I'm going to teach you how to make thick chipboard accents out of the thin chipboard that your dies can actually cut. It's a really simple process and it's a great way of utilizing your dies in a new way. If you see my little holly there, which is the holly dolly dies, is about a quarter inch thick. And this little clothespin is covered in paper and I'm going to teach you right off the bat how to do that. So it's kind of a twofer Make It Monday video. These are uh, Walmart medium sized clothespins. I got them in the office section for about $3. Just take those apart, save that little spring, you're going to put them back together. I found that my quarter inch score it tape was the exact same width as these clothespins, so it made choosing adhesive really easy. Normally I might use some Mod Podge or uh, I use glue sticks a lot. Uh, but for this, this was just the simplest solution. And that's the idea here, is to have lots of different options. So for whatever situation you find yourself in, you can pick the best option for you. And in this case, it was a score tape. A little piece of Happy Spots paper. Peel off the backing of my tape. And I'm going to line my clothespins up to the edge of that paper instead of in the middle. And the reason I was doing this is it cuts down on what you need to cut and it wastes less paper. I don't have fingernails. I don't keep long fingernails because I am a crafter. So sometimes it's hard to get that tape off. Okay, press them down hard and just cut with your scissors. I actually found this covering of the clothespins to be super easy. It's the first time I've done it and I'm definitely going to be doing it again because I think it's a cute look. You see you wasted very little paper there. You still have a big chunk of that little strip to use for something else. Just trim as closely as you can with your scissors to the clothespin. are covered and at this point I'm going to get a sandy block, sanding block and scuff up the edges. One, I like the distressed look. Two, I think it really keeps the paper close to clothespin and uh, less likely to tear off or flip up. Alright, get that uh, little spring back in there. If you notice, I didn't notch into those notches on the clothespin. I could have maybe taken a little knife craft knife and scored those a little bit better. But you know this works and I find the spring kind of pushes it down a little bit. And later on when I adhere this to my bucket you'll see I'm also adhering that spring to the clothespin and that helps as well. Yep, cute, cute. Alright, now it's time for the chipboard. I'm getting my die out. I store them like Nicole in these little CD envelopes. Very handy. And you keep all your extra cuts and you use those as well. It's a very uh, economical and organized way thing, thing to do. All right, this is just thin chipboard, kind of like cereal boxes, which you could actually use. I actually bought a box of this chipboard a long time ago and not even a quarter of the way through it, I still use it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut your die five or six times. And if you notice, I'm not even popping out the die cuts I've already made. Fast forward, we're on like our sixth cut right here, or fifth. And we're just gonna put this aside. And I also need a piece of colored cardstock for my top layer. Now chipboard, if you notice, is just many different thin pieces of paper pressed together with glue and pressure and we're basically recreating that here on a smaller level with custom cut die cuts. Just pop everything out. Get that cuddle bug out of the way. So bulky. All right. Here we go. We're just going to pop the one size holly out of my chipboard. And this is about as thick as our dies will cut. It's very thin. Think cereal box. 
All right, there's all my pieces. I'm going to take a glue stick. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put glue on the entire surface. Now, if you have a bigger die cut, you might want to consider using spray adhesive, but that does tend to get pretty sticky. Mod Podge takes a long time to dry. Um, you know, like I said before, you figure what the best adhesive is for the situation. This is a little tiny piece. I'm using a glue stick. It's very manageable. Huge glue stick fan. If you notice, I am putting one layer on top of the other. The glue is adhering them. And I'm fiddling with it a little bit to make sure it is flush on top. That one piece is an overhang. And when it dries, you basically have one solid piece. That is thicker than something you could cut with your dies normally. If you notice, you know, it's not really taken that long either. It's taking maybe a minute or two. And at times, you know, if you want a little extra dimension, it's worth your, your time and effort to do something like this. One on top of the other, that's five layers of chipboard. And the last one, the topper, is out of Simply Char... Sar I have a hard time saying that word. Simply Char... Truce. <laughs> now I'm worried about it. We'll just call it green paper. How's that? There we go. Very pretty, very thick, very sturdy, and when this dries, it comes, becomes very stable. Using my hot glue gun, I love hot glue guns. Oh my goodness. They solve a lot of problems for me, and I'm just adhering my holly there. There you go. I associate burning hot glue with my mom, because she used to use a hot glue gun all the time in her crafting when I was a kid. So I just smell it and I think of her. All right, pure poppy button. That's going to go on top. Again, my trusty glue gun. Just a little dabble, do ya? And there's my button. I'm not going to push this down because I don't want the glue to come up through the holes and then, you know, not look pretty on the top. And here's a little galvanized bucket I picked up for a buck at the dollar spot at Target. I pick up lots of little containers and like this for a buck. And I just store them until I need something. So if you can imagine just filling this with treats at Christmas time and giving it out. And there you go, your clothespin is adhered with hot glue to the top of your tin, your bucket. Stylish Sentiments Holiday and the Notebook Paper Die. And this is going to be our message. Keeping it very simple because I believe, you know, when you give stuff away that's like a vessel or a carrier or packaging, I guess we call it a wrap. Um, it needs to be stylish but simple. You don't want to waste a lot of time on it, but you want it to look super cute. So I'm not doing a lot of frills. I felt my time and effort was in that clothespin. And there you go. Super cute with a nice thick holly chipboard accent. There's another shot of it. So again, just get thin chipboard, cut multiples, and adhere them together for uh, all sorts of looks. Thanks for watching today. We'll catch you next time.